come in through there but please come please be welcome to come up and all that way we're sort of heading that we're heading in that general direction there 
And let me just tell you what direction that is once I get my compass out here. South. South. All right, thank you. So folks, just keep on coming in this way. Make your way way over here. Yep. Awesome. So we don't need to have talk about yeah. <laughs> Come on in, everybody. Keep coming in. And there's seating over here. We have some seating for elders or those with young children who need to sit down. Please be uh, feel free to come over and underneath this tent here where the elder seating is. What? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, keep. There you are. Come. Awesome. Keep coming in.
Thank you to the Unity Drummers. Thank you so much for bringing us in in a good way. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, again, we uh, have some elder seating over here, our seating for those who have young children or just feel they need to have a little rest to sit over here if they want. My name is uh, David Stevenson. We are Karma Do. And I'll be your MC for this, uh, for this event uh, today at the legislature here. So I want to thank you all for coming down. Um, luckily, it's not raining. It was uh, slated to rain, so glad you could all make it down. Um, and I want to uh, just uh, acknowledge all the people on the live stream. So there's lots uh, joining us on live stream from Rocos, Canada. So be on good behavior. Uh, and uh, so to start us off, I'd like to ask uh, um to come forward and open us up with a good way today. So good day, my family. Good day, my extended family. As a singer and a drummer, how about we take a moment just to breathe? Take a deep breath. Breathe it in and then breathe it out. I'm doing this because I'm almost out of breath. <laughs> Walking and drumming is a whole different talent. So, so welcome to our beautiful lands, place to smoke herring. I also acknowledge our sacred waters of our Lekwungen territory. The 11th year of the Moose Hide Campaign. 11 years of family, community, brothers, uncles, grandpas, nephews, grandsons, standing up and making a commitment to end violence in the lives of women and children. I humbly accept the offer each year to do the welcome, to invite folks to our beautiful lands, to set intentions around how we come together as family and community, to set intentions around how we ground ourselves in this space and make sure that everybody that is live stream or here physically is safe. The Moosehide family does that so well. So it's pretty easy doing this role for them because they do do it so well. So I welcome you all on behalf of our Lekwungen, our place to smoke herring people, known today as the Songhees and Esquimalt Nations. I thank my family, my community, my ancestors, and the supernatural ones that we don't always see for continuing with these teachings of reaffirming who we are and how we walk in the world and how we hope our young ones to see us walking in the world. So I extend my hands always in gratitude and welcome to you all and wish you a safe day.
So uh, on behalf of the family, I just want to again say thank you to Yoquelipton to, uh, for opening us up in a good way, for leading us in in a good way with the songs of the Unity Drummers, and to inviting uh, each and every one of us into this territory uh, in such a loving and kind and respectful way. Um, so we're deeply honored uh, to see all of you here today and all the young ones from the schools. So, so grateful to see you. There's so many uh, watching also on the live stream. There's uh, literally hundreds of thousands uh, that registered to watch. So hopefully some of them made it to the live stream. And, uh, you know, we're really grateful that you would come and just take this stand today and on this beautiful day. And to start us off, uh, I'm just going to uh, ask... Uh, for Paul Raven and Sage Lassert, the family that founded this campaign and this movement to come forward and share some words uh, with us today. Everybody, please, please join us in the craziest cheer you ever let out on the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah! Can we just do it one more time, but way louder? One, two, three. Our, our family that's standing here today with you, our hearts are so full of love. We're so, our hearts are so full of gratitude. I want to tell you as a dad, a visibly indigenous women and girls, that it means the world that we are organizing ourselves to keep them safe, to end the violence that is uh, just such a shame on this country and it's, and it's so unacceptable and it's something that we can do something about and what I look out on the faces of every person, every relative in this crowd, um, I see that uh, determination. And I see that love and care. So I'm really grateful to each and every one of you for taking the time to stand up today um, and to show what you care about, show what's in your heart, show your good medicine. Each and every one of you is medicine. So I uh, just wanted to say for our family, um, the, the Raven and Sage are going to share our words today, but I just wanted to say on behalf of our family, Thank you so much for all of us here for, for standing up. We just wanted to say thank you and raise our hands to you. Uh, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts, every single one of you. We can do something about this. We can do something about this, uh, especially us men, us male identifying people. We can be way better. You know, we can do better and, um, and I can do better. And I'm so grateful to this campaign because it, it invites me to continue on my own healing journey. Thank you to Bradley so much for welcoming us so, so generously. Yahweh Lipton, thank you so much and your family. Um, I would ask uh, Raven and Sage to rock, paper, scissors for who's going to start. <laughs> I 
I'd like to start um, by sharing a few words in my own indigenous language, uh, which is Carrier from North Central BC. Hadi Raven Lassert Sadni, Loretta Madam Slu, Paul Lassert Spa, Saigana Lachshibu, Injen Yin Klaktene Keoch, Tabes Nachalia, Injen Lakwangin Keoch. My name is Raven Lassert, and I'm the co founder of the Moose Hide Campaign. My mom. Oh, thanks. <laughs> My mom is the late Loretta Madam, and my dad is Paul Lassert. Um, and I have my family here, uh, Dom, my partner, our daughter, Cedar, and our other newest daughter, Chasyas, who is just about two months now. I am a first-generation residential school survivor. Uh, my late mom attended the Lajac Residential School, uh, which closed in 1984. I gratefully acknowledge that we are gathered today on the traditional territory of the Lekwungen speaking peoples, the Songhees and Esquimalt Nation. Thank you, Bradley Dick, for your welcome. Um, I'm so grateful to be a visitor on these beautiful lands. Um, I just want to share a few words today and um, really just to share how full my heart is. Um, of love and of hope. Uh, today we have over 400,000 people um, registered to join us today across Canada to take a stand against violence towards women and children. Over 400,000. It's crazy. Mom. 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 When, uh, when my dad and I first started this campaign in 2011, it was just the two of us. So I want to thank and acknowledge every single one of you um, for being here and being part of this journey with us. Um, thank you as a woman, um, as an Indigenous person, and as a mom. I just want to say thank you so much. When we first started uh, with our very first Moosehide Campaign Day um, in 2011, there were about 25 people, mostly men, that marched to the legislature to stand up against violence and to pledge to take action. We have marched from Wawaditla to the BC legislature every year since then, with the exception of one year um, due to the pandemic. Um, it has been such an important um, piece for us to travel along this journey together. Young and old, Indigenous peoples and government officials, K-12 students, um, Cedar's friends from daycare. <laughs> she asked me to give you a shout out. <laughs> um, and post-secondary students, men, women, and all of those along the gender continuum. Have a look around today. This movement is growing and we are getting stronger together. The BC government proclaimed today as Moosehide Campaign Day, and we are so grateful for that. So I just want to thank each and every one of you. Thanking, thank you for taking your time to educate yourselves, to strengthen your minds, for saying enough is enough. Thank you for taking action today and every day to end violence against women and children in this country. Over the last 11 years, we have distributed over 3 million squares of moose hide to Canadians that are taking a stand against violence towards women and children. And we're working with an independent impact measurement firm that has demonstrated that each square of moose hide starts an average of about five conversations. So together we have started over 15 million conversations about the need to end violence against women and children. Today, over 2,500 different communities across Canada are participating in the Moosehide campaign by doing projects and events and ceremonies like this one today. When we started this work, I knew that my dad was doing it to keep me and my sisters safe, 
and I got that. But when I had my own daughters, Cedar, who's almost four, and Chas, that I understood it in a whole different way and that I would do anything to keep them safe and out of harm's way. Um, so in order to do that, we need to change um, the trajectory of this country. We need to transform those attitudes about the women and children in this country, our precious ones. Um, and so I'm just so full of gratitude for everyone here. Um, I ask you to continue to be part of this movement, to continue wearing your moose hide pins and having these important conversations with your friends and your families um, and your co-workers. I want to ask you um, to be and continue to be part of our vision of one million Canadians fasting together on the same day. And I want to ask you to be part of our vision of 10 million moose hide squares distributed and gifted out from coast to coast to coast. I want to invite you to be part of our vision. When we started, it was just me and my dad. And look where we are today. Imagine what we can all do, what you can do, if we all keep working together. Oetza, Masicho, all my relations. Hadi, Sage Lissert, Sadni, Loretta Madams, Lou, Paul Lissert, Spa, Tebes Nachal, Yala Kwangin Keoch, Saikana, Lashabu, Injen, Yinkak, Dene Keoch. Hello, my friends and relatives. It's Auntie Sage here. My pronouns are she, her. I'm a proud, queer, carrier woman from the Lake Babby Nation. For the students and for everyone joining us, for all my youth who are on the youth live stream, thank you so much for making the commitment to join us today. Your leadership is laying the path for youth today and in the future to begin our path on this healing journey. And I challenge each of you to make a commitment to yourself that you will wear the pin every day. And when your friends ask you about it, don't be scared to answer or share with them that violence towards women and children is not okay. And although we are each individuals, we all have accountability to our mothers, sisters, daughters, and friends that contributes to this collective commitment that believes that women and children have an inherent right to safety and love and respect. The National Inquiry into the Indigenous, Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls Commissioner made a statement that said, the, the devastation caused by the national tragedy of missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, two-spirit, LGBTQQIA people is immeasurable. In every corner of the country, survivors, families, and friends, and entire communities have suffered unspeakable pain and loss. Whether women or men, elders or children, we have all been affected in some way. And we all, along with all Canadians, must be a part of the solution and make meaningful change. I believe that the common denominator between all of us here is the shared belief that everyone deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. And that is always better to be kind than it is to be cruel. I've been learning a lot from my mentors here about lateral kindness. And growing up in Indigenous spaces, I was always hearing about the effects of lateral violence. We've been fed a false narrative for a very long time that Indigenous people are dependent uh, on the state, that we are not sovereign peoples. And because we have experienced displacement, annexation, and the attempted cultural genocide, that means that many of us have forgotten what it feels like to experience love and that we are all deserving of love. Our teachings tell us that we are all one and that we are all related. 
healing and decolonizing from the effects of colonization and patriarchy means we are starting to act with lateral kindness by honoring the women and girls in our lives and practicing relationality. So for those who have been here before, or if this is your first time, this is, um, this is a marathon. And like I've said in the past, it's actually more like a relay where the baton is being passed intergenerationally. And this is our time right now to hold the baton. And each generation must ensure that the next has tools in their basket to succeed in our effort to end violence and for us all to be prosperous. We must be proud of who we are. For generations, knowledge and best practices have been passed down from parent to child what it means to walk in a good way in this world. Like my sister said, our mom, the late Loretta Madam, is in the spirit world, along with members of our family who we have lost, Jessica Patrick, and many of our cousins along the Highway of Tears and highways across Canada. I speak my cousin's name into this space to hold space for her in grief and in celebration and to call her into this space. And um, if you came with someone, I invite you to just squeeze their hand, give them a little bit of love, um, maybe give them those love eyes that we always introduce and just show them how much you really love them. <laughs> and I'll just do a really short calling in for them and we'll, um, I'll pass along the speaking. Remember me when the sun comes up in the morning sky, there I will be, soaring with the eagle so high, feeling free. Remember me down the road, hand in hand, you and me. Remember me when the sun comes up in the morning sky, there I will be, soaring with an eagle so high, feeling free, down the road, hand in hand, you and me. Everybody go. Can you say bye? <laughs> say bye to your friends. Where's Christina? <laughs> <laughs> We'll just take a moment to uh, take that in and thank, thank Sage and the family. Thank Sage for the song and the family for the words. Um, we're really grateful that uh, our friend and relative has come across uh, Turtle Island, North America, um, come over to spend some time with us today. He um, came and uh, presented and spoke uh, at our K-12 live stream that we had earlier today. Uh, he brought his family and traveled uh, in a good way with his family out here. Um, and he, uh, Thieland, Kik no Sway has come uh, come to say some words. Thieland uh, was just recently with his, um, uh, just went with the delegation to Rome as one of the people that they asked, uh, the delegation asked that he would take care of them uh, when they came out of their meetings with songs and and uh, his good words and his spirit. And so that's what he, he did. He took care of the delegates that came out of the, the uh, meetings in Rome and the meetings with the Pope. 
uh, and shared his songs and his good words. And uh, Thielen is a, a youth still. He's uh, just a young guy. Um, and he carries a big spirit and a, a big voice. And uh, we're really honored that he would uh, come up and share a few words uh, with everybody today about, uh, about the day and, and what's on his heart and mind. Yeah? So buju ani tanse kwe kwe wache sego nimki bononje kapisi smut na pieces and dish na kaz mangan do dem kajunang and donjuba. Hello everybody, good afternoon. My English name is Thielen Kiknaswe. I'm Korean Potawatomi from Wapul Island First Nation Kajunang Territory. I'm 18 years old. I was born and raised on unceded, unsurrendered Algonquin territory in what we know as the capital of our country, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. It has been a blessing to travel here with my family and to share this space with you all. Thank you for being here. I first want to give thanks to the beautiful land on which we stand on. I'm grateful to have woken up beside these mountains and with this beautiful water around us all. I am forever grateful and thankful for all the places that we each call our own home. And I also give thanks to the original caretakers of this land, our ancestors, for their strength, resiliency, and determination to keep our culture and our traditions alive. Us as the youth, we are the ones that will change the world. It is up to us to use our greatest tool that we have, that's our voice. No matter, big or small, your voice matters. Share your knowledge in a good way. Remember, knowledge is power. What you learn today can be used to pass on to the next generation tomorrow. So continue to listen and learn because that is one of the most powerful things that we can do as human beings. I believe now is the time for learning, healing, and reflection. Only until all three of these things are shared with all Canadians, once that's happened, we will be able to move forward with the knowledge of the past and carry it with us into the future. Tomorrow, let's talk about this. In two days, let's talk about this. For 365 days, we must talk about this and never forget the original people of this land and the work that has been done. The original caretakers whose culture is still alive and whose pride is stronger than ever. We must give thanks to the many roles and responsibilities that connect us back to this land. All of our teachings come from the land. This place we call home is such a beautiful place. We must take care of our Mother Earth so she too can shine bright. So I ask of you to stand with me and the Moose Hide Campaign to end violence against our women and children in our communities across Turtle Island, across Canada. This change can only be made as a collective. It must be a movement that includes us all, from all ages, all genders, and all communities. We can do this, but it can only happen together. So let's continue to use our voices our greatest tool we have. Let's connect our minds and spread awareness in our daily conversations as loud as we can. Miigwech. Thank you very much. I'm now going to ask someone very special to my heart, my beautiful mother, to come up on stage to share about what's going to happen next. So. Can we give my mother a round of applause? Bojo ani tante kwe kwe wa che sego. I lean dishna kans, mangan dodum, pelicaneros and don jaba, anishnabek aki and donji. So I live in the Ottawa region, Algonquin territory, the unsurrendered. 
which means it was never given up. And you as all treaty people, because I'm treaty, I carry a number, but those that are non-numbered are treaty people too. And we all carry a responsibility, a responsibility in peace and friendship. And that's that acknowledgement that maybe you weren't told this before. So you're being told today and share that knowledge to gather, to gather the continued gathering, the continued opening your hands and sing and dance. So when we're gathering and dancing in what they say a circle, it's called a round dance. And we've been doing this kind of dance for many, many generations. And in that is that remember. Remember before to visioning forward. And so my son, our son, the son to the peoples, um, that's that gathering. So he's going to sing a round dance. And we've had this kind of song for a very long time. And it's that place of, it's normally sung in the winter, but you don't have winter here. <laughs> you have a lot of flowers and leaves and, you know, tulips and lilacs. So I think it's pretty amazing. So we're going to be in that collective. And in our visioning of our round dance, we're going to keep what they say the safety practices. So sometimes you'll see in round dances, they'll hold hands. But in my teaching is we hold our hands open so our loved one can, in spirit can come hold our hands. So we're going to create a large circle. And Thielen's going to show you the demonstration of the feet because you're going to go in cir circular fashion. So it's going to be the left foot and then the right foot scoops in. The left foot and then the right foot. You better come back or you're going to fall off stage. But you're going to create this large circle around that water. A big, big, because there's enough here for us to all be involved and make a big, big circle. Kind of like, you know, the old school days, ring around the rosy. Just, just don't hold hands. All right. So we're going to have Richard lead this round dance for us all. So in a single line, forming all the way around the fountain, we're going to put our hands together to the sky, and we're going to dance with one another. Okay, so as soon as we complete that circle, remember we're going to move with our left foot and slide our right, and you're going to follow the beat of the drum. <laughs> All right, watch your neighbor. Make sure there's enough room. All right, where is Richard? He's right in the middle. Aha, uh -huh. so that is your leader. He's going to be the one that's leading this round dance for us all. He's got to come in. They might have to come behind this stage here. Yeah. If it's easier to come behind this stage right here, we can do that as well. Circle to make the circle behind the cameras. This is a friendship dance. 
This is a unity dance. It's a dance that connects us all, brings us together in a circle in a good way like that. <laughs> so Richard will ask you to come join the circle and lead it out. <laughs> All right. If everyone's ready, let's get a big, big war hoop in three, two, one. All right. All right. Here we go. Follow the beat in your heart and to the drum and skoden. So thank you all for joining in in this unity dance, in this friendship dance. Rosie or Dave, do you know what we're doing now? Uh, just one second. Please.
Okay. We got it. So they're saying um, the the the, uh, the thank you so much to all of the law enforcement officers that have helped us today and and kept us safe on the streets. They've said that the streets are no longer blocked, and so they just want to make sure as folks make your way back to your homes, works, and school that you do that in a safe way. Please stay on the sidewalks and observe the uh, the signs for for safe crossings. Thank you so so much from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Please continue to spread this good message. Please continue to spread this good medicine. Thank you. Masicho, enjoy the rest of your day.